Kwa majina naitwa John Matthew Mnali ni kaimu mkulezi mtendaji wa kituo cha uwekezaji. Leo tumekuwa na ugeni mzito wa waziri wa uchumi wa Finland ambaye amekuja na na ujumbe wake. Na lengo la ziara yao hii ni kuangalia maeneo ambayo Tanzania inaweza kashirikiana na Finland hasa hasa kwenye upande wa uwekezaji. Na baada ya kuzungumza na kuonyesha fursa mbalimbali za uwekezaji zilizoko nchini e, wameonyesha nia ya kuweza kuendeleza mazungumzo zaidi hasa hasa kwa kuwatumia wale wawekezaji au wafanyabiashara walioko Finland e, kwenye maeneo ya misitu kwa sababu Finland wako vizuri sana kwenye misitu na wenzetu wameenda mbali hasa hasa katika kuongeza thamani bidhaa mbalimbali zinazotokana na misitu lakini pia eneo jingine ambalo wameonyesha nia ni upande wa madini na kwenye eneo hili wametujulisha kwamba wana kampuni kubwa ambazo zinajishughulisha na madini na hasa sasa hivi ulimwengu unapoenda sasa kuangalia uwezekano wa kutengeneza magari kwa kupitia hela inayotumia umeme kwa kuna mahitaji makubwa ya madini ambayo yanatumika ya katika kutengeneza beti hiyo kutengeneza beti na kwa upande wa Tanzania tuna utajiri wa kuwa na madini ya aina mbalimbali yakiwemo hayo ya graphite, cobalt, lithium na madini mengineyo ambayo ni muhimu kwa hiyo kampuni zile ambazo zinaonyesha nia kwenye madini e, zitaweza kupata nafasi hiyo ya kuweza kuangalia namna gani ya kuweza kufanya uwekezaji kwenye maeneo yao. Eneo jingine pia ambalo wamelionyesha tunaweza kufanya nao ushirikiano ni upande wa elimu pamoja na uh, vocational training. E, ule unaita elimu ya ufundi. Kwa hili ni eneo jingine ambalo wameonyesha nia na wenzetu wa Finland wako vizuri sana kwenye eneo hilo la elimu na elimu ya ufundi kwa ni eneo ambalo eh, tutafanya nao eh, ushirikiano kwa siku hizi zinazoendelea huko mbele. Jingine ambalo maonyesha uh, nia ya kuweza kushirikiana nao ni eneo la ICT eh, kwenye upande wa teknolojia upande wa teknolojia ya mawasiliano. Na hata kampuni yao kubwa iliyokuwa zamani ya Nokia imejikita zaidi kwenye upande wa mawasiliano. Kwa ni eneo pia ambalo kuna wawekezaji wengi wa Finland pia wameonyesha nia ya kuwekeza. Eh, lakini kupitia fursa mbalimbali zilizoko nchini E, hizi kampuni za Finland ambazo wanakusudia kuzi, kuzisaidia zije e, pia zitaweza kuangalia maeneo mengine ambayo Tanzania ina fursa zile za kufanya uwekezaji kwenye maeneo ya kilimo e, na maeneo ya viwanda viwanda vya aina tofauti tofauti kwenye eneo ambalo ndipo wameonyesha pia nia ya kuweza kutuletea wawekezaji kwa hiyo ni matumaini yetu ya kwamba e, kutokana na e, nia iliyoonyeshwa na serikali ya Finland kupitia waziri wao wa, wa uchumi itasaidia kufungua milango kwenye sekta binafsi ya Finland kuweza kuwa na mashirikiano na sekta binafsi ya Tanzania. E, kwa hiyo tunategemea kwamba mahusiano yao baadaye yataweza e, kutusaidia kuweza kupata miradi mbalimbali ya uwekezaji kutoka Finland. Very hard of well, business day like this with me 10 companies uh, including ICT sector or education sector and Finland is one of the leaders in education and, and also in ICT. Everybody knows Nokia, for example. And this area is very important and very interesting uh, partner for Finland. We have a lot of simple sectors like, uh, like in green transition or forest and so on. And I think that we can do much, much more cooperation between our countries. Actually, that is the one of the reasons why we are why we are here here now because this is some kind of first step for many companies in in Finland to to the East Africa, and we know that big uh, Congress or uh, Invest Seminar uh, next next month, and of course it's very interesting. Uh, Uh, the whole European Union area and, and uh, European companies and somehow we want to get uh, first first contact now and maybe we continue in next month. Yeah, we have very good relationship between our countries, between Tanzania and Finland, and we need more uh, companies cooperation between our our countries uh, because. Of, We know that uh, the companies are really front runner in, in cooperation, and uh, our role is uh, support the investments and uh, help the licenses and so on and so on. And uh, and uh, 
the outside country situates in Finland, like you have here in Tanzania, the private public sector must be very tight. Very tight. And uh, I think that in Finland we manage it quite well on that, that sector. And, and maybe we, we can help you do more, more on that sector also. So this is some kind of win win situation. Do you have any specific sectors that Finland investors are actually looking uh, to invest in Tanzania? Uh, not yet. Uh, actually, we have a few companies which are very interesting about green transition and energy sector. Or um, you have mining sector here. And uh, those are maybe the most interesting sectors. Thank you for inviting me to the center, and it's a great pleasure to have the minister here with his excellent delegation. We have touched upon many potential sectors where we would be able to, to give something knowledge, um, products from Finland, and those vary. So we need to look where we can find the best opportunities and cooperation. But just to name a few, it would definitely be the digitalization, uh, of which Finland is already present here in, here in Tanzania. It would be the area of uh, um, natural resources, forestry, also agriculture, that is something that we have. And the specific um, non, uh, sector where we are strong in is the sector of education. So also there, if there will be some needs that we uh, uh, so to say, find a focus on to do together, I believe there is a lot we could do there. So that is just to name a few. But of course we have also the mining, the energy, the question of green transition. That is something that we believe very strongly in Finland. So this gives many opportunities for the future years together. Yes, we think that there could be very many opportunities, also having followed the discussion here with the education being one of the priority sectors that also Her Excellency President Mama Sanya Sulu Hassan has, has brought up. So we believe that in, uh, in the Finnish system there is a lot that we could share, that we could see what the benefits could be if the curriculum would be, be developed in the, in the education sector and also the, how would I say, the, the work in tools, so um, teacher education, so there are many things we could do together. I think it's an excellent opportunity. I would encourage everyone to come and have a look and see for themselves what the large opportunities are here. It's a very important event. It brings together so many potential investors, so many potential entrepreneurs. So I would very warmly encourage. And I'm also happy to be in the investment center today because I have understood that that the, the job that they are doing would then be to uh, to support this these businesses that choose to, to, to be active here. So looking forward to that. How would I say makes the, the, the focus becomes more on, on Tanzania and the curiosity is, is, is growing. But then of course that would then be followed with concrete steps that if there would be some, some companies they would first might be interested to have a sales office and only after that they would consider investments. So already in the establishment of the sales office they probably would need to, to to get it going with the procedures and, and uh, the permits and, and uh, everything required. So also in that case I've been informed that the Tanzania Investment Center would be a good counterpart in that. I would say that, well, the future lies here. There is an abundance of, of natural resources. There is an abundance of, 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 of youth. Who, who will be a strong working force, if, of course, education is also linked to that. So I would encourage to look at the horizon, looking 10 years ahead, 30 years ahead, 50 years ahead. And I personally believe that uh, there is a great future, great development ahead.